Good evening. A milestone tonight in the recovery from the September 11th attack on America. Workers taking down the last beam from the World Trade Center. Later this week, a ceremony will mark the end of the cleanup at Ground Zero, 37 weeks after it began. Belatedly just beginning are the hard questions about the failure of the FBI and U.S. intelligence agencies to detect the 9-11 plot, about missed opportunities to foil it, and about what's being done and not done to try to prevent future attacks. For one thing, the Immigration Service is supposed to be deporting foreigners who've been ordered out of this country. But an Eye on America investigation by CBS's Jim Stewart finds the INS record on this is abysmal. I don't know. Ever since September the 11th, the Justice Department has been in a rush to round up 314,000 foreign nationals in the U.S. You, who have been ordered deported, but who have ignored the order. Let's go 302 first. Yeah. Legally, they're known as absconders. These two bail bondsmen in California are looking for one of them. Investigators. The man they are looking for is open from door, please. Syria. Please open the door. You're starting to make us nervous. Syria is one of seven nations listed by the State Department as a sponsor of terrorism. Put your hands behind your back, sir. I don't do nothing wrong. And while there is no evidence linking this man to terrorism, he is here illegally. And the INS ordered the company that guaranteed his bail to produce him for deportation. That company, Capital Bonding Corporation, showed us the INS deportation order and allowed CBS News cameramen to accompany them on the search. Only when everyone arrived at the INS, the cameras were told to wait outside, and an odd thing happened inside. Our microphones picked it up. In spite of the deportation order, the INS said, we don't want him. We did not make a demand for this gentleman. We're not taking him to our custody. In fact, the INS ordered him freed, and as it turns out, not for the first time. We've delivered this individual uh, twice now, and twice has been refused on, on deportation orders that were told to us that he was wanted. Uh, it's, this is just what we go through. Neither the INS nor the Justice Department would talk on camera about this case in particular or the absconder problem in general. Although both admit they are short on manpower, their paperwork is slow, and sometimes they just don't have enough room to keep all the aliens being turned in. It's very, very frustrating. Very frustrating system. Vincent Smith, president of Capital Bonding, says the INS is now freeing 50% of the aliens he's been ordered to surrender since 9-11. A big part of the problem is staffing uh, in the districts. There just aren't that many field officers. A shortage that infuriates INS critics like Dan Stein. INS has no place to put them. They don't have the detention space. They don't have the personnel to process it. They don't have the personnel to orchestrate the person's departure. So what happens? He walks again and again and again. It is a ludicrous situation. I have a picture of the gentleman we will pass around. That's especially true for the men engaged in these manhunts. Amir Ishmael uh, Chaudhry. Okay. Because even if these New York bondsmen find the Pakistani alien they're searching for, there's a good chance the INS will just turn him loose again. The INS is trying to reorganize itself into two parts, one that would concentrate on services like visa applications and the other on enforcement like this absconder issue. But officials said again today that plan is still a good year from being implemented. Dan? Jim, the FBI, another major segment of the Justice Department under Attorney General John Ashcroft, is also about to announce what's called a post-9-11 reorganization. What's that all about? Well, Dan DeMar, FBI Director Robert Mueller will announce hundreds of agent transfers, all for the purpose of detecting and preventing future terrorist attacks. From the white-collar crime, drug enforcement, and violent crime units, Mueller will announce a transfer of 518 agents to work strictly on counterterrorism cases, making a total of 3,800 agents now working on preventing future attacks. Mueller